Well, happy Sunday, everybody. So, I want to do something different for a video today. And it's been a little bit of work in progress because of different things that have been uh, going on. Uh, you know, with different aspects and with me with the card business, my regular job, uh, some things I got to get done around the house and everything. So, yesterday I got to link up with one person and we went on Zoom. And I wanted to see how it worked and try to figure stuff out. Now, by no means am I a Zoom expert, but I figured some stuff out onto it. And um, basically what I want to start doing is, uh, you know, I don't want to call it like, I guess you just say it, Zooming with other people about different subjects and stuff to provide a little bit different uh, videos as of right now because... You know, we hit the scamming really, really hard for about a month to show everybody different means of scamming, different scammers out there and everything. And now I think I'm, I mean, we're still going to do that, don't get me wrong, because you guys are great with emailing me stuff and showing me stuff. But I want to try to focus now a little bit more into what we're going to be looking at into the future here. We all know the marketplaces are taking a lot of money from us, whether it's eBay uh macari's gonna be getting hit and you, you need to start looking at the sales taxes and stuff like that there the ebay 1099s and all that and once you start following those categories it's like wham man we're getting hit from every aspect with everybody wanting to take our money so i'm gonna email probably about 20 to 25 of you that have either purchased off me in the past i know personally we've done a lot of business you know you purchase through the store through the auctions and i want to try a couple things different on zoom to see how well it works out uh the ultimate goal with this so everybody's tracking that was zoom i do i'm going to use it as a paid service so we can go longer in 30 or 40 minutes but i want to ultimately do a trade night once a month and it's going to be hard because once you start getting a lot of people in there, you know, with people talking, different things flash, and I want people to get comfortable with it so that you know how to pin who's up there. You know, we do like a round robin trade night type deal. People got stuff for traders sell. And more than likely, I'm just going to be on there. I don't want to say as the moderator or the host or whatever they want to call it. Because my stuff has different platforms across the board, the website to sell from. But I want to try to assist everybody into being able to either acquire, sell, trade cards, whatever you want to do. And I know it's hard. A lot of people don't have card shows that they can go to and stuff like that, either due to distance, them not being existent around their area. And just open it up to, you know... Probably about, I think it's max of 100 people from what I've seen so far. If you're a Zoom expert, please, please put in the video you're a Zoom expert because I'll probably be trying to link up with you and we'll maybe do some test runs. But uh, eventually we're going to look at trying to do a trade night eventually in, what is this, March, April. I I'm going to float it around, but it's only going to be about 20 or 25 of us just for a test run for the first time. So like I said, if I know you, you've done purchases and stuff because my whole idea is I don't want no risk involved into it. And I think a lot of people are going to understand this because we're going to have a lot of people just going to want to come in there. And I don't want no kind of like issues, scams, stuff like, you know, stuff like that floating around, non-payers, people don't ship, stuff like that. Because, I mean, granted, you never know who's on the other end of the computer and stuff like that. So a lot of you guys, hope you understand, it's just going to be limited right off the bat until we get a hang of it, especially me for doing it. Now, the other one, like I was saying to begin with, with the uh, Zoom Zoom, I want to be able to, if you have like another channel or something like that, to where maybe we could schedule like 30 minutes of talking. And we'll record it and everything. I'll post it on the channel. If you want to copy the video, I don't know how I'll get to you. Sometimes they're too big. you got to Google share drive it. But uh, we'll figure something out like that, too. And by all means, if you have a channel and you want me to come on there and meet you in a Zoom conference and we'll chit-chat for a while, I'm willing to open to do that because it's just being able to see multiple people or hear multiple people. Everybody knows my cameras are fixed. Like, they're mounted in, so... I don't have a camera that's going to have my face on. I do have an extra cam somewhere. I might play around see if I can hook it up somewhere for that. But, you know, information flow is where we're trying to get at. And, you know, 
just having conversations with other people and you guys will see eventually with it but if you have another channel right now or you want to you know maybe I don't know, like appear on one of these episodes to where i'll have another person or two on maybe i don't want to go more than like three for a show plus myself just because the way the frames have to look but you know, it's just something different to try to do, and not to have them real lengthy. I don't want any time to want to go over an hour, you know, because that's a lot of footage to watch, an hour-long video. I mean, it's kind of cool if you're at work, you just plug in the headset and listen and stuff, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just wrong on to it. But, yeah, I got to know some comments, what you guys think is something like that. I mean, the goal would be, like, down, down, down the road. And I'm not talking, like, a month or two. But maybe we do a virtual card show in a way off of Zoom to where one person will be, you could pin them so that you're watching their stuff like for 30 minutes to an hour. They can, you know, go on there, do sales, trades, and we can run it for, you know, eight, eight, eight ten hours. Um, and just base it off my Zoom and I'll link it out to, you know, the people that want to be involved into it. But like I said, you know, we're only going to be able to. I think cap it at 100 people from what I'm reading. I could be wrong, but if you're like a Zoom person, let me know because what I'm reading is you can't have more than 100 people, and that's what's paying for this stuff down the road um, and not being capped with time and all that stuff. But just some ideas that I've been floating out there because I know I haven't really come up with a lot of videos. Most of this stuff's been box openings and stuff like that. But I'd like to try to be able to bring more avenues out there because it's going to start getting harder to use these platforms. Now, I know BST is going to have his website up this year, but I don't know how the Wayfair Act and everything's going to affect in 2022. I only can read what I'm seeing behind the scenes through, just so everybody knows, on the side, I used to do personal taxes. I still do them a little bit. But I read a lot onto that stuff and all the information's flowing out there. And because we had a shift and change of presidents and different views, um, there's a lot of stuff that's going on for 2022 and I want to be able to help everybody out to where you're not using platforms. We can have some fun with it. You know, at the same time frame, you know, the people can't get into it, get a video to watch or maybe they can get in contact with you on to it, especially if you have your own channel or something like they're like, oh man, he had that, you know, Derek Jeter card I wanted. Let me hit him up so you didn't get rid of it. So, just some ideas out there. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, one will be like trying to do an episode or two a week just with me and maybe a couple people talking, one or two other people. And I'm going to try to get with uh, BST here eventually because I know he's trying to get it to where the beta version, I believe, goes out next week. If I'm wrong, he'll tell me, though. <laughs> and, you know, stuff like that there to where a lot of questions can be answered. It's just something different to do offhand. But like I said, I'll still, if we have some crazy scam stuff going on, I'll post about it. But a lot of the stuff we brought into Light RE between shill bidding, bad breakers, all that stuff that's out there. And you guys know, don't, you shouldn't be sending friends and family unless you really know the person out there. Be careful on Facebook, Instagram, and all that stuff. So like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm really looking for some, you know, feedback here, uh, some ideas onto it, but like I said, initially I'm going to email about 20, 25 people to see what they say. And we're going to try maybe next month like a pre-run of a trade night to see how well it goes and what all needs to be tweaked. And then we'll open it up, you know, to you know people um, else out there that will be like vouched or referral based type deal. Just to try to keep it like a safe community on there for trade night and stuff like that there. And we'll try to rotate people in and out. You know, different things like that there. But it was just an idea I came up with. I don't want to have, like, some big, huge platform onto it and another website i got to build because everybody knows I don't build well. All right, so while I was sitting there chit-chatting, I had one box of this. I put it up for sale, but it seems like nobody wanted it on uh, my slabs. Let's uh, watch the uh, devastating hit. I've never pulled anything big out of Panini 1 NFL. NBA, we did well in the Panini 1-on-1. -on -one. I know. I, let me make sure I delete this off of my slabs before I even start, because my luck. Yeah, I don't think it's on here. I bet my luck it'll end up selling, and I'll open it and be like, "Oh my!" 
Okay, these are all mine here. Okay. Not on. There. That's what we wanted to see. All right. So let's take a look. You guys seen Panini 1. I mean, we really love to see one of the big rookies, Burrow. Um, Herbert. Even Tua. Maybe a Hertz. Even Easton Love. Some great vet stuff in here, such as Mahomes, Brady. You still have, I believe, Jerry Rice is in. I think there's a few Montanas, Marinos, Elways, stuff like that. Oh, there's, uh, I don't know where the extreme blank went to here. I was moving stuff around here, so we'll just use the regular blank here. Just so I can see the card. Pretty much covering it there. These are real nice boxes, too. We already know one of the 101 Herberts are pulled. Let me just get enough focus back here. There we go. Gonna be a rookie. That's going to be a 199, so definitely not a rookie. Going this way? Not this way. All right. Show us a rookie card symbol, please. Nope. Oh, it is a rookie. Antonio Gandy Gold. Now, I was trying to find a rookie card logo. It's up here. So, like I said, these sometimes are bust. They run you now about 600. No way I paid that for this, so don't worry. <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't buy a box at 600 bucks. I definitely probably wouldn't get into a break onto this stuff. Um, and pay like, you know, $1,500 for a shot at a Herbert or anything like that. But it was just something cool. We were allocated one. Figured what the heck. We'll give it a shot. See what happens on to it. Here's another card since PSA's not uh, running real well with getting my stuff back yet. No knock on them or nothing. I mean, I got it. But, uh, you know, got to fill up the showcase this weekend up in Louisville. And as most of you know, I will be uh, coming live on Saturday night afterwards. We'll uh, do some uh, boxes of Inception for sale. If you want them ripped live, I can. If not, they'll just be shipped out. But not too bad, Antonio Gold. It could have been a lot worse than this, to be honest. A lot, lot, lot worse than this, dude. But I, I like Panini 1, as everybody knows. It reminds me of Dynasty. A little bit more of a kick, though, to it. So, pretty cool overall. I'm sure there's going to be a Washington football team dude out there that's going to want that. And it does say Washington football team. Huh. I don't know if they changed it or not yet. But, yeah, a big thing, like I said, with this one here was that I wanted to see uh, thoughts onto the Zoom stuff. And basically, like I said, three aspects onto it. One, if you want me to appear on a Zoom with you for your channel, recording and stuff like that, no issues at all. I'm looking for some people that might want to do some Zooms so we could talk about anything. Um, card shows to new product coming out. You know, thoughts on different things. So if there's something you guys want to do, we can look at it. And like I said, I don't want to do more than one or two a week onto it because I don't want to have like an overflow of stuff like that there going out to where it's just, you know, one-on-one -on -one or one-on-three talks, stuff like that. And if I can, we'll figure out times and stuff onto it. And then we're going to do a test run. Like I said, I'm going to email out probably next week one day. Uh, about 20, 25 people, see if anybody's interested in doing it. You will have to put Zoom either on your phone or onto your computer. And then you'll get emailed a private link out, of course. Um, and just going to be something like, for like I said, try something like with a trade night, see how well it goes. People can talk and stuff like that there. You just gonna have to be very careful. You know, if you have stuff in the background, mute yourself out. Uh, try not to step on everybody and just to get familiar with it. And uh, like I said, I'll I'll talk through everybody that's new to Zoom on to their show, like, you know, the gallery view. And if somebody, you know, is on there wanting to show a card, how you can just focus on that one, uh, st uh, I guess you could say, frame or stream or whatever. But that's about it, everybody. I appreciate it as always. Uh, I'm going to try to do a little video coverage off my cell phone at the uh, show. 
so I'm not too sure how that'll work out because I just never bought a GoPro. Um, and we'll see how that works out. Hopefully, it looks pretty good overall. Yeah, like I said, if you're in a Louisville area, stop by, see me. I'll be set up. I think doors open at nine. I'll probably be there till at least noon, maybe one o'clock latest, and I gotta take out of there. And then I'll come live that night, 9 p.m. Eastern again. I'll have some boxes. If anybody wants some rip live, you can have them rip live. Or otherwise, I'm just going to, you know, send them out so you guys can do your own ripping and everything. All right, everybody. Have a good week, and I'll catch you all later.